Hello everyone, my name is Sheikh Irfan. In this video, we are going to see Indian Standard Method of Concrete Mix Design. So, the IS codes that will be used for the Indian Standard Method are IS 10262-2009 and IS 456-2000. These are the two IS codes which we will be using for Indian Standard Method of Concrete Mix Design. See, the main aim of Concrete Mix Design is to select suitable ingredients of concrete in the concrete mix and to determine relative amounts of material with objective of producing a concrete mix with required strength, durability, workability and as economic as possible. Means, what is concrete mix? It is a method or it is a process of selecting the ingredients of concrete mix and relative ingredients, relative amount of, amount of it. For example, if I am saying that M20 has a proportion of 1 is to 1.5 is to 3, so it is a relative amount or relative proportion means one part is cement, 1.5 part is sand or fine aggregate and three parts are coarse aggregate. So it is a relative proportion with respect to cement, proportion of sand and proportion of coarse aggregate. So what is mixed design? Mixed design is a method or a process of determining the ingredients of concrete in a concrete mix and relative amounts of materials. And what is the object of concrete mix design? To produce the required strength, durability, workability and economic concrete. Now let's see what is the procedure of Indian standard method. The first step is to find out the target strength for mix proportioning. See the formula for target strength will be F dash C K is equal to F C K plus 1.65 into S where F C K is the characteristic strength of concrete in Newton per mm square. For example, I am designing a concrete mix of M40. So the F C K value will be 40 Newton per mm square. So I can put that F C K value as 40. Then 1.65 into S. What is F dash C K? First we will see what is F dash C K. F dash C K is the target mean strength or target compressive mean strength at 28 days in Newton per mm square. Now what is S? S is the standard deviation. What is S? S is a standard deviation. And you can take that value of standard deviation from table number 1, clause number 3.2.1.2 clauses A3 and B3 from IS 10262-2009. You can find out the standard deviation. For M20 and 25 it is 4 and from M30 to M55 the value of standard deviation will be taken as 5. And these are the values which are taken from IS 10262-2009. Then the next step is after the finding the F dash CK that is target means turn we have to find select what is the water cement ratio you want? So from that water cement ratio can be taken from IS 456-2000, table number 5, page number 20. As you can see in this table, these are the various water cement ratios which are given for various conditions. And you can take it based on the experience. Uh, see, we want lesser water cement ratio. As we know that less the water cement ratio, more will be the strength. So based on the experience, you can adopt the water cement ratios. And these are the various water cement ratios which are given by the IS 456-2000 in table number 5. See for mild exposure condition, the maximum free water cement ratio for plain cement concrete is 0 0.60 and for RCC reinforced cement concrete structure it is 0 0.55. Then similarly for moderate it is uh, for RCC member it is 0 0.50, for severe for RCC structure it is 0 0.45, for CV, very severe it is 0 0.45 and for extreme condition it is 0 0.40. See, IS code has also given minimum grade of concrete to be used. For mild exposure condition, the minimum grade of concrete to be used is M20, M25 and so on. For extreme condition, it is M40. For RCC structure, they have given two types of structure, plain concrete and reinforced cement concrete structure. So, depending upon that, you can decide the water cement ratio. That is the second step. Then, once the water cement ratio is decided, you can select the water content in our concrete mix. So you have to refer clause number 4.2 of IS 10262-2009 that is table number 2 
see the table number 2 has given maximum water content per cubic meter of concrete for nominal maximum size of aggregate see for example the size of aggregate you are using in the concrete is 20 mm so for that maximum water content will be 186 but see but this table this values are given for the angular coarse aggregate means this table is given for the angular coarse aggregate there is one note in that is code and for the slump value of 25 to 50 mm and for example if your concrete is having 75 mm so you cannot use that value now because these values are given for the slump value of only 25 to 50 mm for example uh, you want uh, your slump value is another it is not in between 25 to 50 mm then what to do see for desired workability for example 75 mm 100 mm or whatever workability you are using for your concrete mix the required water content is increased by 3% for every additional 25 mm slump above 50 mm what does that mean this is from is code this sentence is from is code what it says for desired workability the required water content is increased increased by 3% for every additional 25 mm slump above the 50 mm for example if your slump value is above 50 mm and for every 25 mm you have to increase that value by 3% for example you have taken 20 mm size of nominal size of aggregate for that water maximum water content is 186 kg but your slump value is say 100 mm so this value is for 186 mm uh, sorry this 186 mm water content is for only range of slump value range of 25 to 50 mm but in our case for example our slump value is 100 mm so it is more than 50 it is uh, our general range is only up to 50 but our actual workability what we want on the site is 100 mm so it is 50 more so for every 25 mm you have to increase it by 3 percent for in this case we will increase it in the by 6 percent because for every 25 mm you have to increase it by 3 percent so for 100 mm it will be increased by 6 percent and if you are using plasticizers to increase the workability in your concrete so again water content can be reduced up to 20 percent and above depending upon your experience you can change it but up to 20 percent and above also you can reduce the water content because you are using plasticizers plasticizers are nothing but water reducers so you are using plasticizers so you can reduce the water content by 20 percent and above so this is the selection third step is selection of water content now the fourth step is calculation of cement content see we know that the formula of water cement ratio is water to cement content so if you want to determine cement content which is in the denominator you can take it to the left side and water cement ratio will come in the denominator so cement content formula will be water content divided by the water cement ratio water content we have found out in the step number three and water cement ratio is found out in the step number two so you can determine the cement content then the fifth step in the uh, procedure of concrete mix design by Indian standard method is proportion of volume of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate content. See from table number 3 of IS 1026 to 2009 volume of coarse aggregate corresponding to 20 mm aggregate and fine aggregate. See this is a table, table number 3 of IS 1026 to 2009 which says volume of coarse aggregate per unit volume of total aggregate for different zones of fine aggregate for example your zone is mentioned your fine aggregate zone is mentioned in the question say it is zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 or zone 4 whichever it is for example it is zone 1 and you are using 20 mm aggregate so for that the volume of coarse aggregate will be 0 0.60 see if you are using nominal maximum size of aggregate 20 mm and the zone of fine aggregate is zone 1 which is given in the question so for 20 mm aggregate and for zone 1 fine aggregate the volume of course aggregate will be 0 0.60 see this table values are for 0 0.5 water cement ratio means this table of is 1026 to table number 3 it is given for the water cement ratio of 0 0.5 only but if your calculated water cement ratio is different you have to change this value 
so how you can change it so is code has mentioned that proportion of volume of course aggregate is to be increased at the rate of plus or minus 0 0.01 for every plus or minus 0 0.05 change in water cement ratio for example my water cement ratio is 0 0.40 so it is less 0 0.0 0 0.1 less than standard standard value is 0 0.50 as per this is code so it is less than 0 0.10 so you have to change that value by 0 0.01 means for 0 0.10 value you will have to change it by 0 0.02 Clear. Then for pumpable concrete, proportion of coarse aggregate is reduced by 10%. You can reduce these values. For example, we have decided that for 20 mm aggregate for zone 1 it is 0 0.60. Then we have changed it according to your water cement ratio. Then if the concrete is pumpable concrete, means that concrete has a high workability, and it is mentioned that the concrete is pumpable concrete, so the proportion of coarse aggregate can be reduced by 10%. You will understand this concept more in a in a better way in numerical whenever uh, I am taking the numerical in the next videos maybe. So you will understand that concept in better way. Then the next step is mix calculation. Now all the factors are decided. Now you can calculate the mix. For example, you have to design your uh, concrete mix for one meter cube of concrete. You have to produce one meter cube of concrete. So volume of cement will be mass of cement divided by mass density of cement. Similarly, volume of water will be mass of water divided by mass density of water. Then volume of admixture will be mass of chemical admixture you are using divided by weight density of admixture. So mass density of water, mass density of cement and mass density of admixture. These are the standard values. You can get it uh, maybe in the question or maybe from the codes that I will explain in the numerical and mass of cement and mass of water that you have calculated in the previous steps. So you can calculate the volume of cement, volume of water and volume of admixture. Then volume of all in aggregate means you have to find out total, total volume. So total volume is V that is 1 meter cube. So from 1 meter cube if you are subtracting the volume of cement, water and admixture you will get the volume of aggregates because the, see total volume is 1 meter cube so total from total volume if you are subtracting the volume of cement water and admixture you will get the volume of aggregates then you have to calculate mass of coarse aggregate which is given by volume of all in aggregate which you have calculated in the previous step in the, in this step only in the previous slide then proportion of volume of coarse aggregate into mass density of coarse aggregate Remember this formula, you will understand it uh, in a better way in the numerical. Again, I am taking the numerical, so in that you will uh, again, I will again explain that concept. Then mass of fine aggregate can be calculated, volume of all in aggregate multiplied by proportion of volume of fine aggregate multiplied by mass density of fine aggregate. Then the last step is mixed proportion for, for trial 1 per, per meter cube of concrete, means you have to give the summary that cement calculated is this this kg fine aggregate is uh, calculated is this this kg coarse, coarse aggregate is calculated something then chemical admixture is this this water cement ratio decided is this this and ratio of coarse uh, cement to fine aggregate to coarse aggregate is this this so you will get the final proportion of concrete mix say 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 or 1 is to 1 is to 2 or anything 1 is to 2.5 is to something it may be anything you have designed it so this is the last step you have to give the summary of various uh, proportions of mix in the concrete mix so this was the video about indian standard method of concrete mix design thank you